Yeah, you can get the Dragon Slayer in the DS games. Oh, that's cool. In, in most uh, d uh, DS games. Gotcha. Near-field perimeter scan. The other thing, too, is I'm, like... I'm very, like, story-based a lot of times. Um, like, I, I get stimulated by story and character. And a lot of Frontsoft games... While they have good stories and, and good characters, even like Baldur's Gate, which I'm playing with my friend Alex right now, Baldur's Gate 3, it's like, it's it's just too much of a soap opera, and and and, uh, and it takes too long to experience the full story, and I don't, it's the same way, like, if I read novels, I don't typically read novels that are a thousand pages. I read novels that are like two to three hundred pages. You know, it's just that's just how my that's probably I guess how deep my attention span goes. <laughs> um, and as a writer, as someone who I don't I don't know how to write a story that goes that long. Um, so I typically don't ingest a lot of stories that, that that take that long. And I know that's up to the player. I could speed through the game and just do certain things, but... Um, oh, here's... Is it Je Jetta? I forget some of the names of the characters. But you have Atriox, who's puffing his chest and acting all big and mighty. And then you got Tremonius here, who's actually like... Dude. Oh, this is Ascarium. Sorry. As Ascarium is... Um, God dang. Was I saying Atriox in the last one? Ascarium kind of um, from a distance I want uh, to know everything about him yeah and this so we this is the mission where they send Jetta I, I think that's Jetta's their name uh, or Jedi or something like that th who's gonna like cloak and follow us but um but yeah you have Iscarium you got Atriox term Termonius is the one who kind of is like hey I don't you know What's taking so long? Why haven't we destroyed everything yet? <laughs> you know, he's like the impatient one. Um, Locate message source. But yeah, you can see kind of their mission here is to finish that ring so they can activate it. So I think as like humanity's last attempt to stop their the threat, because they were like, all right, we're losing. Um, I want to say the humans destroyed that part of the ring. As like a last ditch effort to stall, you know, Atriox, but I don't what? know for sure. Or if, or if that was um, Cortana, why would we go who was like her last act um, before she disappeared? All of us. What? You think we can stop? Well, thanks for popping in, Mel, and I appreciate it, man. You have a good one, dude. Thanks for hanging out with me. And then, yeah, thanks for talking Elden Ring and FromSoft games with me. They're very cool games. I, I like watching playthroughs, like snippets of them, um, but I've never seen those games in their entirety. Uh, most FromSoft games, just uh, Dark Souls One. We do our duty, protect humanity, whatever the cost. But uh, yeah, I've never really ever considered streaming them, to be honest with you. Because I, I get. Tired of games <laughs> too sometimes. Like I'll get, I'm like, oh, I really want to play a video game right now. And if it goes longer than like 30 or 40 hours, I start to burn out. <laughs> like I said, I think that's just my attention span. That's why I was so surprised. Midnight Suns, like that's how much that should show you how much I like the characters in Midnight Suns because I think we put 100 hours in that game over the course of like six months. Pull back. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we found all the crates and skulls in this map too, so. Yeah, this is not gonna be a a searching playthrough for sure. We'll probably get some of the upgrades, but we'll mainly stick to um, just the story. Heads off this one. Lots of craft heading your way. Look at this dude. So cool. Get ready. Up here? Ooh. Am I? Yeah, I keep moving. Okay. 
is. Dude, look at that. It's cool. This area just looks really cool. And this is us going through essentially the basement of the Halo ring, in a way, working our way up to uh, More reinforcements. These weapons to the, be worth it. you know, the surface. This whole place looks like it's dying. Like it sure it's does. Clinging to life somehow. How is that possible? Each ring is different. Yeah. I see an entry point in the wall ahead. And this is the Zeta there. ring. Find um, this weapon. Then we can so go. this one is supposed right? to, like, be able to rebuild other rings or something? Oh, wait, what? Oh, crap. Jeez. Those brute officers, man, let me tell you. Not a fan. There's another one up here. Uh, give me a fight, dude. Yes, I'll take it. Be careful. Right, going in. They're still coming. You really pissed them off back there. <laughs> Good. Good, because they're the bad guys. <laughs> oh, sentinels. Yeah, and I think he's patched into Chief's helmet, so he's able to see see what's going on. Oof. Running out of ammo on this gun. Did a little roundabout there. Here comes the whispers again. And again, this is building on the mystery because, like, you start this game off and you're just like, okay, what's happening? There's a there's another Halo ring. It's half or partly destroyed. You got wiped out by this Atriox guy. Time has passed. You know, where's Cortana? Is she still in control of the Guardians? Like, you have all these questions. So to come into this second stage, essentially, and get Forerunner references, hear Cortana whispers, it at least narratively pulls you along. Like, you know, it, it's not like Resident Evil 4 where they just go, oh, Umbrella, they're done. You're like, oh, okay. Why? Like, what? Oh, the stock went down, and you know, because they got exposed, so they were canceled. And you're like, oh, okay. Uh, what? <laughs> like, but I wanted the satisfaction of Chris and Jill and Claire and Leon I don't. destroying them. Great. Um, I hope this weapon of yours is worth the risk. I'm reading. And then I think later they realized fans wanted that, so they they put that story in in one of their um, Nintendo Wii games, like the Dark Side Chronicles or something, where you finally saw that story happen. So yeah, check that out. So that we saw the event that ex caused the ring to explode, and like I said, I want to say that was like Cortana's last act of. It's been good. six months. Where have you been? What happened? Six months. Where's I forgot. Cortana? This is another the thing where you're like. The AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. Yeah, and then you're like, wait, How? what? Are you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... See, so okay, then boom. Then? So you're like, wait, no, she's There's deleted? Or is she deleted? So it almost gives On you a Resident Evil 4 thing. My but then they was supposed to throw that curveball in there. Still here. <laughs> Good. So, and then even more puzzling, because it's like, my programming failed. I'm not supposed she's to like, so here. if Cortana's delete not deleted, then no. why am, you know, I'm still here then. No. You know, I failed my programming. I created 
for one purpose, and that purpose is no longer needed. My mission is over. We have a new one. The Banished are planning to fire this ring. We need to make sure they don't. First of all, what's a Banished? <laughs> Second, you may have noticed that a significant piece of this installation has been damaged, making that impossible. And third, to fire this ring, they would need an activation index. Cortana had the index. I had parts of it as well. Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure? <laughs> Come on, darling, let's go. Ah, oh, so good, seeing them reunited, even though it's not the same Cortana. Um, this is codenamed The Weapon. Did you but, do uh, that? No, removing me but yeah, just, it just, from the ring. That's the one thing I'll give this game credit for, is that it, it pulled me in. So there, now you're hearing Cortana Cortana. And it's like, okay, so there's a mystery here. It's not like Resi before, there was like, Umbrella gone, new enemy, and there was still a mystery, but you're just learning about the new enemy and you did not get any closure really on Umbrella. It's Cortana. Um, no, it's but this not is different. Just dust and echoes. What did you say? What? It's dust just pieces of data cycling until they run out of power. It's all around us. Today, I was called an emotionless See? And since Halsey's like built into Cortana in a way, and Cortana kind of comes from Halsey. You got those memories that are popping up. It's it's neat. Like as someone who struggles with memories and things, like this game was neat on that level for me. Where I was like, oh okay, he's like he's got to go through these voices, these echoes in his mind to like find answers. And like look at all that over there. See. And this is even going back to some of his origins, which the books and, you know, the novels and things and comics even touched on Master Chief's origin and Fall of Reach and, you know, the cartoon, like, you know, the movie and whatever. It's like, they, but they never really dealt with it in the game. And I think, like, this was neat because Chief is a little different than he was when he started, right? Like, when he began in Halo 1, 2, and 3, he was this badass soldier that carried out the mission um, I can feel and started to adapt as the mission changed. But then in Halo 4 and 5 were like his first time where he's like, uh, you know, he stopped taking orders. It was like Captain America and Civil War. Like, he's like, yeah, I'm not taking orders anymore. <laughs> like, I don't, because I don't believe in this order. Um, and so it's, it's really cool that um, in this game, he's more of an independent thinker, even to the point where he's getting his AI to... Uh, just, you know, change course. You know, she's like, well, my mission's complete. He's like, it ended in failure. And he's like, I don't care. Like, new mission. <laughs> you know? Like, I'm not going to delete you. These you got to... Affirmative. They smell even worse than I imagined. You can <laughs> smell them. Well, an array of sensors in your armor can, and I analyze the input. You smell fine, by the way. <laughs> he smells like space dust and probably fart. Uh, <laughs> the guy's been floating in space for months. So yeah, at some point the humans and I forget the full story on this, and that's where I, like my memory's a little fuzzy. Um, we need this gun. Um, is that uh, what exactly happened here? Like I want to say humans came here first. And they in implemented the Cortana, you know, the weapon into the database to try to, like, stop Cortana. And then the Banish showed up and kind of ruined everything. Or, like, I, I, I can't remember the exact order of that. So this playthrough will hopefully remind me. Look, over there. That's the source. The bridge is out. Yes, it is. Maybe there's a way to power it back up nearby. No. They'll marry you with another AI. with another AI. Maybe 
And there's a couple secrets in this level where you can, like, get that one back. And not that one, in, you know, particularly, but where you can activate different bridges to find secret things. Uh, but I think we found all the secret stuff in these missions, so we're good. Is it safe? I think so. This is also what yes. I like about Chief in this one, is that because of the it's wound safe. of Cortana going rogue, he has trouble trusting the weapon, which is why she was designed for a single purpose. Yes. Bring her here, insert her into this database, she'll take it over, and then delete her. So that we don't have a repeat of Cortana. Why? Um, I don't know how, but it is me. And so the it more the she starts being reminding him of Cortana, Let me just... is the more he wants, like, he, the less he trusts her. Um, and I, I, th I think that's a cool dynamic, because these are two characters that, from the jump in the games, you have been because you were chosen. friends, you know, almost inseparable. Our enemies are getting smarter and more Even though they have separated <laughs> for their missions, but, um, will help turn the tide but still, war. you know, you know what I mean. I have been um, working. To harness the strategic power of a shipborne AI on the battlefield. Cadme and Lacey, Bonnie and Clyde. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, Abbott yes. and Costello. Dr. Halsey. But it's cool to Unlike explore memories. AI models, she will decide um, between your mind and the suit, directly communicating with your neural interface. Yeah, between your mind and the suit. Think so not like the show, where the show she takes over his body, which I, I don't get. I mean, I know she's taken over armor before. I think she's in this game driver, even, but um, way to level the playing field. Right. What do I call so that quote should have been said in the show. Uh, I am critical Hello, of the Master TV Chief. show, obviously. I'm Cortana. And for the few little things it gets right or Together does well in interpretation, I think it does a lot. Together, not you well. become our key to humanity's survival. And the fact that we've had two seasons now, necessary. and they're just now Make getting sure to essentially the events of the first game, Even if just feels like herself. dragging it out for no reason. Because like, there is an interesting story leading up to the first Halo game with Master Chief from Fall of Reach to, you know, landing on the first ring. What happened? That's certainly an interesting story, but I just don't think I they do a good job of interpreting it on the was show. That real? It's just data. And to tell that story, they have to pull a lot from the books, which they do it's on the show. Here. You know, characters like Clusters Soren and stuff code. like... And I think Vanek and some of those other but ones. This, like on the other hand... They are characters that appear the framework in the I use to trap books, Cortana. some of them. And it not contains a copy of the activation index, at, at least fragments of it. What should we do with it? Do we need it? Uh, well, based on what you've told me so far, the bigger question is, do the banished need it? Good question. Do it. And you can see, it's kind of like, well... I don't know if I trust this. I don't know what this is. It could be a piece of Cortana. It could corrupt the weapon. But she brings up a good point. What, are we going to leave it here for Atriox and them to get? That was and so, the, obviously, the reason they came here was because of the signal that was sent. And it was Let's go. her still active. But also these echoes, these memories... So that's where we came. This is where we're going. Did I miss something? There's a file that's been unlocked, but I don't have access. We need a route out of here. Okay, let's see. There's a breach close by. It should lead us to the surface. These forerunner structures are really cool looking. Smoking, dude. Wow, you got here fast. Not the time. No, I didn't. I actually time, detoured huh? a little bit. No. <laughs> Noted. Let's go. But thanks.
attach it. There we go. Yes. I love it. I love these guys. Oh, shoot. I like grabbing these things, but they do overheat, so you got to be careful with them um, when you're firing them. You can't just hold the trigger down. So I think this is where we start learning, like, slowly about other Spartans um, and kind of their, you know, like, how bad the damage really is, how many we actually lost, you know, in this battle so far. And I like the idea of, like, you know, I was really hoping they would do DLCs for this game, like, not just the online stuff, which they've done, you know, a lot of seasonal online stuff, but I kind of, like, for me, this game was ripe for DLCs. I just think they had a problem with people, oh, no. um, if What's people wrong? enjoyed it. This gravity lift should be powered up. Um, we need to find a way to bring it back online. You know, I think, I don't know, their consensus, I think a lot of people didn't like the multiplayer on this. I don't, I... I think there were complaints about the campaign, but not as much as there was the multiplayer. So for me, like, why they didn't put a little bit more effort into the campaign and add DLCs, because there's so many mysteries, like where is Locke and his team, you know, Buck and all those guys, um, and even some of the books haven't answered those, those questions yet, or the comics. So it's like, yeah, where are they? Where's Kelly? Like, where's Fred? Object. It's part of the ring's life force. It's called a power seed. Yeah. I, I didn't remember that. I remember it was called a seed, but not a power seed. Uh, well, let me hold on to the gun. Oh, it does. Okay. All Good. space. All time. But I would like to know, like, because we find other Spartans in this game, especially in the beginning, first couple missions, you'll find, like, some alive or some dying and some dead. And it's like there's so many. Like, there were so many people on board of the, uh, of the Infinity that it's like, you know, and Lasky. Like, where's Lasky at? Like, I just, there's so many questions about where these characters are. And I, I wish this game gave us, or, or I wish, you know, the, 343, I hope it's hard at work on answering those questions in video game form, not the novels. Like, like, watch, here we got our first Spartan. So we get an upgrade, we got our shield She now. was carrying an enhanced shield module. Let's see what I can find out about her. Accessing. This is Spartan Bonita Stone, recon specialist. Her vitals have been offline for nearly a month. Cause of Jeez. death was an energy blade, but different, stronger. Yeah, I think a it's J stone. Jeddah's. She never um, saw it coming. Or Jedi, or whatever that, the one that's tracking us right now, the one that cloaks. He is like a, a Spartan killer. And I think when you invest, like, in Halo 4 and Forward Unto Dawn, they did a really good job of, We're here. That you know, having us invest us. in Lasky. And it's weird that in this one, he's just kind of, like, forgotten. Ow. I didn't cry, I just said owl. I said one manly owl. I think. Good night. What is that? Shot. I saw like something shoot at me. My aim 
is so bad. Oh, there was someone up here. Okay. I didn't even see him. Oh, quick. There's another one. I think I know where I'm at now. Um, I think this is uh, where we come across kind of our first boss fight. And is it is it Termonius? I, I can't remember if they sick Termonius after us for his insubordination. Um, wouldn't be a video game what without these things? some side rooms. But yeah, I like this. Like, vessels. So they were How do you collecting DNA of that room for six months, the um, by of us. the Covenant. Let's just say they and, talk I guess the collective the collective um, species of the Covenant and Banished and stuff like because you got human type ones, you got elite ones, you got grunts, jackals. Let's see. That should do it. Collection. Let's get back to the elevator. I'm not a fan of this pose where, he, where he's got like a handout. Like, uh, not a, not a big fan of that look. I guess it makes sense when you're throwing like exploding canister in a way, but I don't know. I feel like having this, just having a seed in your hand, it seems like get a silly animation. Forerunner. It identifies as banished. Can you operate yeah. it? In my sleep? Not that I sleep, but and you can tell the difference too, because it's already on its way. Banished, down. I mean the this technology looks like corrupted Incoming. forerunner tech. But so it, at what first glance you might be like, oh that's his forerunner. It is um, <laughs> maybe it's a friend. Um, it looks like it could be forerunner. But it's banished, having taken it over. So it's like mostly black and red. Yeah, this is Tremonius. So Escarum is... He's the mouthy one. That is, uh... Good old speeches. If I have an action figure of him or not. I know I bought all the action figures when they came out, the original ones, but I don't think there, I don't know if there was a Tremonius or not. That's a check. Come on, dude. There we go. Got him. Ah, oh, 
Oh, there we go. Poof. Barely. I kind of wet. Oh, he's got the bulldog. Let's do it. The right. Hydra. He was not friendly. By the looks no, of him, he was friend. some sort of leader. <laughs> they called him Tremonius. Not anymore. That's almost <laughs> funny. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> not anymore. Awesome. I repeat, multiple banished craft are converging on your location. They're coming for you. Here we go. Sierra 117. Understood. I've been trying to reach you. You vanished. I thought I was on my... Okay, I got your location. On my way. Be ready. 